Hey guys, in this video I'll walk you through how to use Clay webhooks and specifically if you're not familiar with what webhooks are, it's a means of transferring data from another platform, from one platform to another platform and all it requires is for you to copy and paste a URL link to the input. So basically, let's say if you're transferring from platform A to platform B, you need to go and copy and paste the URL link of platform B into platform A so you connect them. Now I understand that this is the most confusing explanation. So let me show you how that works in practice with the example of Clay specifically. So inside of Clay, all you need to do is click on actions in the top right corner inside of your Clay table, click on import and type in the word webhook. At that moment in time, you can see that um, it will generate a URL link for you. You can copy and paste this URL link wherever you want to transfer the data from. So for example here, if I go inside of Make and I click on Create a New Scenario, and by the way, you can do this for free as well. It doesn't cost you, uh, like you don't need to have a paid plan with Make to do this. You can click on HTTP, and if you click on that, over here you should see something that's called a Make a Request, right? So all we need here is to just copy and paste the URL, and typically we just need to click on post because that will mean that we post our data into the clay table, right? Alternatively, we can also get the data from the clay table, but for the time being, it's a bit too advanced for us. So let's just stick to post. And the body type will always be this application form on URL encoded. And all we need to add is the fields that we want to transfer inside of the clay table. So the key will be the header. So the key is always like the header inside of clay. So for example, in this case, it will be like the full name, the email, all of this good stuff, right? So I'm just going to type in email here and I'm going to type in my email address. So I just type in Tim at, I don't know, gmail.com, for example, as an example. Um, and let's say we want to transfer this data. We can click on add item and add a bunch of other items as well. So we can transfer all of this via webhook inside of Clay itself. And then we'll click on save. And if we click on run once, what we should see now is if it gives us this bubble, and if this bubble shows a one up here, that means that the data has been transferred. And inside of the Clay table, you should see that the data arrives already. And the beauty of webhooks is that as soon as something occurs, this data gets transferred inside of the Clay table and it can cause all the rows to run. So in this case, what we just need to do is map the columns so the email matches the email column, click on that, and voila, we just transfer the data from one platform into another platform. So that's typically the way that you would do it. Obviously, there are a bunch of complicated flows that you can do with Make, but typically, all you need to do inside of any platform, for example, Trigify, is just navigate to the integrations page and then copy and paste the URL that you want to send it to inside of Clay, and then the data arrives, you map the data like I just showed you, and then this runs the entire table for you. So this is in cases when you want to post the data inside of the Clay table. Now, a lot of the time you would want to push the data from Clay into another platform. So for example, into Google Sheets or into CRM. And in this video, I'll basically just show you as well how you can do that. So all we need in order to get this set up is for you to go inside of somewhere like Make and generate a webhook URL. So you, once again, you'll click on webhooks and here you will say triggers when webhook receives data, right? So for that, all we need to, is basically just any sort of endpoint and an endpoint is where we want to send the data to from Clay specifically. Once again, this doesn't matter, like it's going to be different depending on the platform, but in every platform you can generate some URL link and this is where the data will basically be transferred to. So in this case, we'll go back inside of Clay and then when we have this URL uh, generated already, we'll type in HTTP again. And at this moment in time, we'll basically just go and copy and paste the endpoint URL over here. In the body, we can basically use ChatGPT for this a lot of the time if we get an error message, but all we typically will do is we will just map out the exact things that we want transferred. So we will start with this funny looking thing over here, and then we'll just put in quotation marks any sort of header that we want to pass through. So for example, like the header here will be email, and then this is the email value from the clay table. So in other words, if we want to put in the email, we'll say this is the email and then we select the individual email column. So let me just do that email, right? And we then need to make sure that the formatting is right. So once again, my advice is to always make sure that these curly brackets are as close to the output as possible. And at that moment in time, we just need to make sure that once again, since get is when you get data from another platform, but here we're going to post it because we want to post it. We want to send it to the other platform, right? So we'll select post. And once again, this just messed up the formatting somehow. So let's move that a bit. 
And we make sure that this is all closely aligned um, over here. You don't need any headers as far as I know, um, or I mean, otherwise I might get an error message. And then at that moment in time, we're going to save and run one row. Uh, so for the purpose of this, I would recommend if you're still with me and if, you, if you're if you using make for this, start running the make webhook. And at the same time, we're going to save and run this row. And with Clay, as you could have gathered by now, if the, if the message here says 200, that means that the request was successful. And we can see that the data was now transferred inside of Make. So once again, over here, we just found the email that was transferred directly via webhook from Clay into Make. Once again, if you're technical enough to learn webhooks and APIs and all this fancy stuff, then the chances are you will figure out how to do this to transfer data to, to other platforms. My only advice is if you're ever stuck, just go on the integrations page of the software and there will be somewhere a section about webhooks and you just basically copy and paste the webhook of where you want to transfer the data to. So for example, into like a Google Sheet or something of that sort. Now, the easiest way to do this as well is probably through Zapier because Zapier, like literally like a 12 year old with a bit of common sense could probably use it and it's like very intuitive. But if you want to pick up Claire as well, um, I can recommend a couple of YouTube channels to do that as well. And the chance I'll probably come out with a mate course uh, when I'm a bit more proficient as well, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but other than that, by the end of this video, I hope you learned how to use webhooks for both GET requests when you're getting data from another platform and pushing it into Clay, or for POST requests when you post data from Clay into other platforms. So once again, um, four simple steps. Go to integrations pages, copy and paste the webhook from Clay, map it to the right column and the beauty of this is this will cause to have evergreen campaigns whereby the webhook basically can send a new job a new prospect a new company into the table every single time that a specific event occurs and this will mean that you don't have to manually top up leads every single time so i hope this video gave you the competitive edge when it comes to using webhooks and i must say if you well depending on where you're watching this this video was sponsored by unlockclay.com and i absolutely love doing this advertisement uh so basically if you're not sure what unlock clay is just go on unlockclay.com and it will explain everything to you and i've done hundreds of videos like this to break down clay and make it as simple for you to learn and as fast as possible so hopefully i'll see you on the inside if you're not inside of the clay course watching this already and i'll see you in the next video all the best in the meantime